This is John Bolger with Premier Guitar. We are at the Nova Guitar Factory in Nashville. Let's see how they make this thing. Okay, I'm with Matthew Timmons, the general manager of Nova. Matthew, thanks for having us. Awesome, thanks for coming by. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Now let's, uh, you make the entire guitar here, boot the bonnet, so let's Every see single it. thing? Let's see it start to finish. All right, let's head on back. Yeah, so this is John. John does our CNC programming, so he's over here working on some necks for some projects that we got working. And some bodies, he might be able to show off something neat that he's working on here. Ooh, okay. Don't show that too long. <laughs> little, little sneak preview. Yeah, so we, it's a really fun thing to have John here full time, basically like translating Dennis's brain straight to the guitar. So we can try to move a little bit faster on new models, new shapes. We got, I don't know how many guitars in the works. It's an, an insane number of stuff, but you know, that's the, the beauty of, uh, you know, uh, being able to do this on the computer and, you know, get all the, the stuff right. So. Well, so he, he comes up with the, the basic math and then it goes to the machine. Yeah. The machine cuts it yeah. as you put so it. He has to, so he gets, Dennis gives him a drawing of what we want to do. And then he comes in here and translates that into, you know, math, basically, on all the, the parameters. And then what we do is we get that shape drawn out the way we want. And then we have to figure out what the tool path is for the machine and then the different, uh, um, you know, bits and stuff that it has to in order to cut it out correctly. So it's a whole process. There it is right there. It's, uh, what's great about it is the fact that I can work out most of the problems and see if there's, you know, a, a, like an undercut or something's in the wrong spot in pixels rather than in wood. Yeah. In wood. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pixels are a little more forgiving. Right? <laughs> yeah. yes. It's easier to move pixels than yeah. wood yeah. Though, or metal. So we can figure out all kinds of stuff. So we can do like a lot of improvements where it's like, you know, figuring out how fast the the machine goes, what bit's the best to use, uh, yeah. do multiple tool paths to do multiple bodies or necks at once, and then just, you know, do new stuff. Okay, so this is where it all starts. This, with is, the this wood. is the beginning. This is the wood. This is the whole the whole shebang. Okay. Yeah. So an interesting thing about about Nova Guitars is you work primarily in pine. We're like 99% pine right now. We started to experiment a little bit, but our whole deal for the first couple of years has been all pine. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah, that is such a it's such a cool decision. I know like Leo Fender, some of his early work was Yeah, some of the early telecasters with pine and our kind of goal with it was to try to find something that was going to work really well across every model. So not to have to have like different wood for all these different guitars. Can we have a consistent like look and feel, but then it's going to sound great with humbuckers, it's going to sound great with Telecaster pickups, Strat pickups, whatever we could throw at it. And out of all the woods, pine was the best, which just kind of blew us away. Yeah. You know? And it's so cool that, you know, with your finishes, you're known for these sparkly, crazy finishes. Yes. But with pine, you actually see wood you know it's like yeah well pine grain. has really interesting grain and what we do is we actually do sand the guitars specifically to raise the grain so you can still see it and then our finishes are all nitro so they're really light so you know sometimes i say our finish is just a suggestion right. just a little bit on there to make yeah. it look pretty yeah. but it's all about the wood and so we want to still see the wood we want to feel the wood we want to be reminded that the car, the car is good wood is good so yeah, wood is and it's good. and it's and it's been really it's really great for us because then we have kind of a, a signature look and feel yeah. with the pine and so now that we've kind of established that, we're kind of starting to branch out a little bit with some of the signature stuff, the, the, the Solus F1 that you were holding earlier, oh, yeah. that was ash, but you know, sort of taking a lot of those components and then finding out how we can do that with other wood. But yeah, pine, pine is king here at Nova. And it's cool how, how some builders, they, they do everything they can to kind of hide that grain or hide, yeah. like, like, they'll, like a finish will just like they can bulletproof. Yeah glassy whatever yeah yeah dipped in glass and you guys yeah. lean into it well yeah i mean yeah. it's really helpful that we are known for our distressing yeah. you know it's kind of a specialty for us and we do a lot of really neat things with finish over finish and we do all kinds of uh just really unique stuff and so it allows us to sort of kind of lean into that we've done tons of guitars that have knots everywhere uh because pine is naughty right? right so we do lots of stuff where we'll do translucent finishes lean into it yeah. and it's not easy to work with there's a lot yeah. of Pine is very temperamental, and the guys sometimes would wish that we could do more stuff with alder and ash, which I promised them we're going to get to it, yeah, right? Yeah. But the you know the pine sound is so good, and that that resonance, it's lightweight, and it's just that's the thing that Super people say all the time. Like, cra it's crazy how light. And you can see even how pretty that grain is. It's nice yeah. and tight on that one right there. But the idea is is that we want it to be lightweight and want to be resonant. Like you know the old saying, like if you pick up a guitar, you play it without plugging it in, you know if it's a good guitar already, right? right You're right. gonna feel like if it's gonna respond well to you, if it's gonna be resonant, if it's gonna be loud acoustically, 
before you even plug it in, you'll know, and that's important to us. Like, you, if that if that happens, like you know, I've got a, 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 my Novos, and they are insanely loud for an electric guitar. That's the idea, you know. Yeah. And so it's we want every guitar to feel that way. I want it to be vibrating on your body, so you can really dig in and feel it. So. Now, what would you say the average weight is of a so, Novo guitar? So we're shooting for everything to be about seven pounds. So most of the stuff is under seven. Um, uh, you know, we've got some guitars, like my personal Nova, one of them is 5.8 pounds, wow. which is stupid, insane. And that's with no weight relief? No weight relief at just... all. We're just really concerned, and so we work really well with uh, our supplier, Tempered Tonewoods. He gets that pine from us, they get it out in Minnesota and Indiana. We also get some Amish pine, they got the Amish that cool. they cultivate for us, which, that's the lightest stuff, it's my favorite. So whenever yeah. I see Amish pine coming in on the invoice, I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> that's gonna be great. And I just love the idea of thinking about the yeah. Amish making us pine, it's super cool. Make it a throw. But yeah, so like, we're, he's, he, we've been working with him for five years, and so he knows exactly what we want. And so that palette is curated, you know, we get like 100 or so blanks in at a time, you know, uh, eight by 44 blanks, and they are uh, already sorted. We know what the board feed is, so we can make the lightest guitars possible. So once they yeah. come in, then you decide yeah. which one is gonna yeah. be which. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll get the guitar, plan you know, you know, we'll get the blank uh, sliced in half, glued up, planed, you know, joined, so it's nice and perfect. And then we can start sorting it for what model it's gonna end up being, because we know with all the hardware on it, like what the actual end weight's gonna be on the guitar. And then we'll pick it out for translucent finish, solid color, metallics, and then sparkles. Yeah. So it's like, you still kind of like a, a nice sort assortment of all the different stuff that we do. So Very cool. It's super cool. So when you all started, you yes. were basically just a uh, cutting everything out. On the pin router. On a, That's yeah. a classic, what Leo Fender was doing in the 50s, right? right? Using a pin router, using, uh, you know, templates, making every guitar, you know, doing all this stuff. Well, there was only like, you know, three or four of us here in the building. Wow. That's how we did it. And now, you know, lucky enough, everybody likes the guitars. We're growing. And so now we've got two awesome CNC machines. Got two of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. That's great. Yeah. Wow. And, you know, I know there's a lot of debate on whether, you know, handmade guitars versus machine made. And, you know, we feel like the, the consistency of the CNC, make an accurate guitar, every single time make some better guitars yeah so that's why we do it and it rules yeah we absolutely love it and got to be quicker way quicker right? oh yeah way quicker yeah. and you know way more you know just it's laborious right yeah. you're doing it by hand there's all kinds of things you have to do and then there's so much handwork that goes in afterwards right that it's just you know it, all it is is just just getting us started there's so no speak. pilot yeah. error on this yes. well yeah. the, i mean the guys that run these things are are awesome right yeah. the amount of stuff that you have to do to make sure the machine's running correctly get everything set up the right programs i mean like it's it's it'll do the job but those guys got to be good and i got a lot of good guys here yeah. so it's great yeah, so after the next get run on the CNC, they come over here to Fret World. We've got Benny and Craig over here doing awesome stuff. So we clean up the boards, plane it a little bit, and get the frets in there, do any of the inlays, clay dots. Um, sometimes we got moto dots on here on some of those. Cool. Oh, great. It's a nice ebony board right here. Yeah, yeah. And then after we get all that stuff in, install the nut right there, then it gets run on the plaque, wow. which is amazing. Do you plaque every Every neck, door? yeah, every neck gets plaque. We got the plaque, we had it for about a year now. And you know, doing fret dressing is awesome. You know, it's a it's a great skill. We got some awesome guys that that clean up the neck, but yeah. the accuracy of the plaque to get that playability is just unreal. So yeah. had to have it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Now, as far as fret options, yeah. What uh, do you run the whole gamut, or do you... um, we keep it pretty simple? We do a medium and jumbo, and then we do uh, nickel silver or stainless steel okay. on medium or jumbo. So any you know, personal favorite? Me personally, yeah. I like me just regular medium stainless uh, stainless steel. You know, yeah. sometimes like you know stainless steel, people feel like it sounds a little bit different, yeah. but I like the idea of like you know no fret dress for a long time. Right. I mean, yeah. if you, especially how hard you play, you know. But everybody's different, you know. The nickel yeah. silver looks cool. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we, we try to keep it, you know, try to not do too much option paralysis here, right? Yeah, right. I mean, we've got a visionary, ahead yeah. of, you know, that's head of this company right. that knows what he wants. And so we like to have a little bit of options, but for the most part, it's, uh, you know, it's uh, what we like. You can have your version of that. Right. Yeah, yeah it's like it's so. like in and out Burger. You do this one thing really well. well. Burger has a secret menu. Yeah. You got animal style. So, oh, right, right, so right. I don't know what we have here that's <laughs> animal style. And maybe it's sweet talking me on a, on a collar that we don't do or something yeah, like that. Yeah, but right, right. It, it, it can happen. But right. now I'm hungry. Yeah, Thanks, John. me too. Okay. All right. Well, let's uh, let's see what's next. So after the bodies come off the CNC, they go over here. Nice uh, rack of cool stuff and. 
then what we do is we get all the side jacks, we get the roundovers, you know, maybe we do a German carve, just all the really cool body modifications yeah. that you can do, binding on yeah. all the stuff, which and is super rad. that's all done. All done in-house, yeah, right? we got it over here. That's Sam in there, he's fitting the guitar right now, but he does all that, so this is his station to do like German cars, uh, all the routing really stuff. That's gonna be really labor intensive. Right? Oh yeah, it's really, he's our guy. Like that's yeah. like our, 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 our craftsman, yeah. with Sam, who does all that stuff. And then over there, we can show you that station, that's where he does all the binding on the body, all the binding on the neck, just, just all the stuff that makes the guitar just a little more insane. So over here is where we do a lot of the cool, you know, neck options. Right. This one's got binding and blocks. So we put that all on there. Nice uh, moto dots here. There's also a nice little flame on there. God, I love it. It's that. really cool. Yeah. Super so neat. Is this, so is this guitar, is this neck pine? No, no, no. This is maple. Okay. So we do classic, classic maple and rosewood yeah. on there. Although making a pine neck would be pretty interesting. Would it be too soft? Probably be too soft. Maple's yeah. nice and hard, perfect for a neck. Yeah. Um, but this is tried and true, you know? Yeah. It's good enough for Leo, it's good enough for us. Right. That's, yeah, that's kind of the way we like that. to think about it. That flame is just beautiful. Yeah, it's man. great. So over here, we're doing all the fine fret dressing. Making sure those frets are buffed nice and clean, rolling those fretboard edges, just making that guitar play absolutely perfectly. Right. This is Brand. He is the man. Does, every, does every single one. That well, is, that is, look at that. Beautiful. Beauty. Yeah. Yeah, that rolled edge is The rolled edge so, is huge. Feels like an old friend when you're Yeah, you know, I mean, that's, you know, it's the money, right? They yeah. say, you know, you, you pick up the guitar and if it doesn't feel perfect right there, yeah. so the plaque can get the frets level, but it takes brand to make them perfect. Right. All right, so here we are in paint, my favorite place in the whole shop. Sure. This is where it starts getting purdy. Yeah. It starts to turn into <laughs> what the guitar wants to be. And I know everybody is curious about this guy right here because we do all kinds of awesome sparkle finishes. And this is actually the sparkle gun. Wow. Yeah, we put a nice, <laughs> the sparkle gun, we put a nice wet coat of lacquer on there and just hose it down. It's like glue sticks on there. And then we paint it a pretty color. It's it's yeah. awesome. Like a bass boat. Yeah, there that's great. Isn't that nice? Yeah. So after we spray them, they come over here to dry. Here's an awesome three-tone sunburst sparkle. I just look at that. love it. Look at that thing pop right there. Oh. Our, our painters are, are geniuses. They yeah. really nail it. Um, yeah, so we got all kinds of cool sparkles drying over here. You can see just some really, really neat stuff. and. You know, we can do, uh, you know, I think we do like maybe 10 different sparkles, 15. I mean, we've done all kinds of stuff, it's crazy. So we were talking about the grain uh, earlier. I mentioned that even on our sparkles, you can see that grain pattern because of the way we uh, distress the pine or where we sand the pine. And the cool part about it is, is that you get all of those, those lines from the pine and then you get all those sparkles. And then when we do the lacquer checking, it starts to you know lacquer check this way, and then we'll distress the guitar. So you got all of those layers all in one finish, and it just makes for a very unique instrument. How long does it take for this to set? Because I um, imagine, I mean, it looks... Well, there's a lot of different steps in the process, but after it's fully finished, it's six days okay. that we get uh, to dry before we start whacking at it. Yeah. Yeah, because we're gonna whack at it. It's <laughs> gonna get distressed. Yes. <laughs> Great. So here we are in distressing. But first I had to show you the tape ball. Right. This is all of the uh, taped off fretboards. So when they come in here to get distressed and clean up, we add uh, to the tape ball. So you can see. This How is, long this is, has that tape uh, ball been growing? I think this is at least three years. I mean, this thing is it's a lot of necks. It's a lot of necks, a lot of sweet, sweet guitars. So. Yeah. The tape ball. You, know, you always got to have fun stuff like this around, you know? Sure. And if somebody gets out of line, I can just, you know, you can just tape ball them. Tape ball them. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so over here in distressing, probably, you know, maybe the most unique thing that we do here. Um, a lot of uh, brands, you know, distress their guitars, but with the pine and with all that grain, we can do a lot of really interesting stuff. So there's Zane here. Zane does most of our distressing, and he's got a Burgundy Sparkle Saris J, one of our more popular models, and he's going to whack it for us. A rock and a railroad spike. <laughs> so the whole relicking thing is a little controversial. Do you Always. ever do you ever get orders for people that just want them straight? Absolutely, clean? absolutely. We do probably still about ninety percent of our guitars. Uh, probably actually trending down a little bit because we do direct sales, and so most customers, you know, themselves when they order it, a lot more of them besides you know stores want it to be. Um, we call it extra light yeah. because there's still like a little bit of distress. So yeah. how we do it is, you know, we, we call it no intentional distress. So uh, Zane won't touch it at all, but the hardware is still aged and we still do lacquer checking. Yeah. So that's our, our version of extra light. Sure. But it's, I think 90% right now still want, I mean, that's kind of what we're known for with the way that they look with the, with the pine and, you know, all of that wood grain. It's like people are into 
that's what a Nova looks like, so they want the distress. And people really, really want me to do more heavies, right? They were right. like, can you just, just absolutely just drag this thing? And we don't really like doing that too much, but since Zane's been doing it, he's got a little heavier hand, which I like. He's been, he's been digging in a little bit harder, which is cool. Zane, I imagine your, your, your car is covered in dents, you just hit shit everywhere you go. <laughs> he's just a, he's a, bull, he's a bull in a china shop. He's just yeah. right in the rock. It's the dream gig. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. These guys build it, you break I it down. Mess it up. Yeah. I mean, it's like it's, it's kind of cool because it's like something like extremely beautiful. Yeah. You know, that guitar in particular. It's a burgundy sparkle, all these clean lines, and then we're going to just basically. I mean, it's look at all the swirls and stuff. Yeah. And then we're going to mess it up. Yes, yeah, so we talked a little about the, the lacquer checking. So how we do that is we do good old freezer lacquer checking. So what we want to do is we want to put this stuff in here and it gets it nice and cold and then we heat it up and then the wood expands and contracts and then cracks the lacquer. Wow, so how long does it have to freeze? Um, usually we do it for a couple days in and out a few different times, you know, like 24 hours, pull it out, heat it up and then put it back in. Some stuff will go right away and then some stuff takes forever and it's super temperamental to get it done. So it kind of just, it's, it varies depending on, on the, the thing. But here's the one that we're working on here. Like you can see some of it's already starting in there. Wow. Might be tough to see on there, but you can kind of see. Is just beating? Yeah, really? so you can see it's already starting on here. The sparkles, wow. they check immediately. That like is they are, They are super, super awesome. So you can kind of, like it starts to get that idea where you've got the green pattern and you got the sparkle and then you started getting those check lines in it. And you get, uh, I mean, there's no way to get uh, the same instrument twice. It's just wow. there's so many factors in there with the distress, the lacquer checking, and the, the, um, the pine uh, grain. So every wow. guitar is completely unique. I'm amazed it is already cracking, and that was like five minutes ago. Yeah, absolutely. That's a thin finish. Yeah, it yeah. is thin. Like I said, it's, yeah. like I said, it's a it's a suggestion, you know. Yeah. So very cool. Yeah. So after distressing, it's time to put the guitar together. So in here, we're with uh, Eric and Matt. They do all of our assembly work. So you know, putting the whole thing together, electronics, uh, the bridges, and just make sure that it's an awesome guitar. Wow. And there's such variety in mean, the pickups. And uh -huh. the, the pickups, the bridge, everything, it's like you have a lot well, of Yeah, I think we have like, like 12 different models, like wow. complete models with a lot of options in there. So, you know, this one right here is our Saris J. That's our most popular guitar, so they'll do that one the most. Um, but we also do, you know, a version of that with a Tunematic and Stop Tail. We'll do it with humbuckers. You know, we go all over the place. And we've got a lot more in the works, too. So wow. these guys are going to have to learn how to make a bunch of other stuff, too. So. So, as well as putting it together, do they do the setup as well? Yeah, yeah they do everything from start to finish. So, wow. they get the body and the neck, get all the hardware, and, you know, uh, do the nut, do everything. So, so you're, they're here for a while. I mean, this, Yeah, this I think is... the average, you know, I think it's, what are we at, three hours, three and a half hours yeah. per guitar. Some yeah. of them a little bit faster, some of them a little bit uh, longer, depending on what it is. But, yeah, that's the whole, the whole they're, the, they're, the, wow. they're the detail guys. So, they but take care of all of it. Yeah. It takes me five hours to change a pickup. Yeah. It does. <laughs> yeah. I, I just, it, you know how long it takes me? I walk it in here and I go, yeah, yeah. hey it's Eric or Matt, idiot. here you go. Yeah. It's nice to be able to work with these guys because I can bring anything I got in and, and give it to them. But yeah, they do awesome stuff, get it all ready to ship. Okay, so where are we now? We are in the man, the myth, the legend, Dennis Fano's office. The laboratory. The laboratory where he kind of comes up with all his ideas and <clears throat> works on all the signature guitars and can see some some uh, exciting Easter eggs behind us. Right. This is where all the magic happens in there and I get to be a part of it every day. It's awesome. That's great. And you yeah. say it every week. <clears throat> He makes a guitar. Yeah, he. We try our best, right? Yeah. Sometimes, you know, if uh, if uh, things aren't coming together, and there's some ideas or some parts that we're waiting on, but we try to do one of those signatures every week uh, to really surprise people and do some really neat stuff, and maybe like sneak some ideas that are going to be future Novo models, like in there, and see what people think. So oh, you all have super cool. so much freedom here to just kind of follow your muse. And it's go, great. It's go, great. Go. You know, it's one of the coolest things about. <clears throat> doing this is that we're not sort of beholden to any style like yeah. you know using pine like you talked about earlier you know it's not it's an early you know wood that uh, Leo used on some tellies but it's not really normal yeah. uh, and we can kind of kind of go in that direction for just about anything that we want to do and it's really cool to be able to just you know sort of say like what are we feeling like today right. let's try it and see if we like it and then you know hopefully everybody else likes it too. Now, yeah. how, how many guitars come out of here 
in? We, we make a couple a day, usually, okay. you know, depending on how things are going, right? Yeah. Because the quality control, you know, is really high, so sometimes it's, you know, one, and sometimes it's four, right, yeah. a day. And then it sort of, it can kind of depend, and it's like we're really strict on just making sure the guitar is perfect, so it's a, it's a little bit, there's a target, you know, we want to ship a decent amount per month, but, you know, we're back ordered about a year right now. Oh. And so it's like, and then the guitars that we post for sale on Thursday sell out in seconds. So it's really exciting that people yeah. want them, but I'm like, man, there's so many people that want our guitars. And so the idea is like, how do we take that and grow it to where everybody that wants one can get one, but the quality is as high as we expect and as the customers expect. So it's a really slow process yeah. to get there. But you know, that's, that's the way we got to do it. Yeah. Good yeah. problem to have. Good yeah. problem to have. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Well, hey, I've loved the trip. It's been great uh, seeing the whole Willy Wonka yeah, I wish <laughs> Willie was at the end of the tour, like, but, but Dennis had some things to take care of. So yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's see him work. Yeah, well, awesome. Thanks, so thanks much. for coming Congrats. by. Appreciate it. Thank you. Till next time. Right on.